Hi everyone, welcome to chapter 2 of CHM256 entitled The Evaluation of Experimental Data. Now, let's continue with part C which is Statistical Procedures to Handle Analytical Data. In the preceding subtopic, let's have a look at statistical procedures to handle analytical data. There are few statistical procedures to handle analytical data such as error, mean, median, range, precision, and accuracy. Mean is the average reading of all data or measurement that are obtained from the experiment. Mean can be calculated by dividing the sum of measurements by the number of measurement in a set. This is the example on how to calculate mean. Sum up of all data and then divide by the number of data. Mean for sample usually involve a small set of data of less than 20 and usually it is symbolized by x bar. On the other hand, mean for population usually involve a large set of data, usually more than 20, and it is symbolized by mu. Median is the result of a set of data when the data are arranged in increasing in size. This is the example on how to calculate median. Range is the difference in magnitude between highest and the lowest value. Absolute error is the difference between value obtained experimentally and the true value. The sign of absolute error indicate whether the value in the question is either high or low as compared to the true value. These are the equations for the calculation of relative error and the percent of relative error respectively. Deviation is how much each measurement differs from the mean. Deviation is important in the determination of precision and this is how to calculate relative deviation. Standard deviation is the most commonly used measure for the precision or scatter sample data set. This is the equation used for the calculation of standard deviation for a sample. Please take note that n minus 1 represents the degree of freedom. So, in this equation, the degree of freedom is reduced by 1. This is the equation for the calculation of percent of relative standard deviation. Now, let's take a look at this example. Calculate the mean and standard deviation of the following set of data. Now, the solution for this question first you have to find the mean for the set of data. Then, you have to calculate the summation of x, x minus x bar, and also x minus x bar squared. Then, you have to substitute all the values in the equation to calculate standard deviation. And finally, you will get the answer. Alright students, we will continue the other subtopics in the next videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!